Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews episode 48 about the upcoming crude Soyuz launch with Expedition 48. It took quite some time, but here it is, my all new Soyuz spacecraft. It is no coincidence because the real Soyuz got an upgrade as well and now carries the appendix MS-01. It's just a guess, but it probably stands for modern spacecraft and 01 is just an enumeration. This means the next one will be O2 and so on because most of the craft burns up in the atmosphere and only a very small part of the capsule is reused in the new vehicle. Compared to its predecessor Soyuz TMA, it has a better protection against micrometeorites, better solar panels and new electronics. My Soyuz in KSP finally fits three cosmonauts and also has a small spheric compartment in the front like the real one. In the back is the propulsion module which sits on the upper stage and the spacecraft is covered with a fairing. Since it is a crude launch there is also an escape tower on top, but more on that later on. What I am most excited for is my also new first stage. Mounted on the sides of the relatively thin core stage are the tapered strap on boosters. These make the Soyuz launcher in my opinion one of the best looking rockets to date and I am happy to finally have a worthy representation, although I still have to work on the booster separation. The launch will occur at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, just when the launch site sitting on the Earth's surface rotates into the ISS orbital plane. Liftoff is scheduled for tonight 1.36 UTC, which is 6.36 in the morning locally. As mentioned, Soyuz will head for the International Space Station and this means it has to follow the ISS orbit at 51.65 degrees. In KSP I launch from the equator, so I have to turn northeast, but since Baikonur is pretty far in the north, it can almost fly straight east, which will slowly transition southwards. A few minutes into the flight, the boosters will separate, which will look a little more spectacular than this, but I'm as mentioned working on it. On board the capsule are two astronauts, one from America, the other from Japan and one cosmonaut from Russia. Anatoly Ivanishin is the commander, 47 years old and has spent 165 days on the ISS already. Before his career as a cosmonaut, he used to fly his MiG-29 and Su-27 fighter jets in the Russian Air Force. He also jumped off a plane 180 times as part of a paratrooper training. Launching for Japan is Takauya Onihi. He is 40 years old and this is his first spaceflight. He is also a former pilot but a civilian, flying a Boeing 767 for the Japanese airline All Nippon Airways. Last but not least there is Kathleen Rubens for the USA. She is with 37 years, the youngest of the three and a microbiologist. Studying the human immunodeficiency virus, she obtained a PhD in cancer biology from Stanford University. As a little fun fact, she will be the second member of the Chi Omega fraternity visiting the ISS, following the first woman ever visiting the station, Susan J. Helms. Next to the crew there is of course also some cargo which I can't find details information about. If you know more, please feel free to let us know in the comments. Now before I go on, a little shout out to my patrons. These people participate in my little crowdfunding campaign and while it's completely optional, it definitely helps the guy behind these videos. Thanks. Once Soyuz separates from its upper stage, it will begin its maneuvers to catch up with the station. A slightly lower orbit makes the spacecraft revolve fast around the Earth and it will take two days to catch up this time. NASA's docking coverage is at least scheduled for July 9th. Anyways, just before Soyuz overtakes its destination, a last burn will push its orbit on an intersect with the ISS. Shortly after arrival, the spacecraft will orient itself in front of the docking port and give itself a last nudge to ram the ISS in a controlled fashion, hopefully locking the docking mechanism. That was KNews episode 48 about Soyuz and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.